Hello, and welcome again friends, do you are planning to install, and dual boot FIDE OS alongside Windows 10? If yes then this guide is becomes very helpful for you. So friends in today's guide, I am sharing step by step guide to install and dual boot FIDE OS with Windows 10. So let's get started. These things are required to dual boot FIDE OS with Windows 10. So the our first step is create a free space for the FIDE OS installation. To create partition for the FIDE OS, simply right click on start menu. Then click on disk management. Now in disk management window will open like this. Here you will have to find the select the partition, which has more free space available on it. Here, in my case the E drive has more free space on it, select the partition by clicking on it. Now right click on the partition. Now click on shrink volume. Now a new window will open like this, here you will have to enter the new partition size, in MB format. I recommend you to create at least 30 GB partition for the FIDE OS. So here in my case, I am creating 30 GB partition, so I am entering the size is 30720 MB. After entering desired size, simply click on shrink. As you can see here, the 30 GB unallocated space is created here. Now right click on the unallocated space. Now click on new simply volume. Now the partition wizard will open. Now click on next. Now in this step don't do any changes, leave as it is, and click on next. Now in this step, select do not assign a drive letter, or drive path. Now click on next. You can rename the partition, or leave as it is, it's your choice. In my case I rename this partition to FIDE OS. After doing the above steps, simply click on next. Now click on finish. As you can see here, our new partition is now available here. Now close this window and follow the next steps. Now the our next step is, download the Rufus USB tool. To download Rufus, simply open your web browser and search for the Rufus download in Google. Now, open the first site, which is rufus.ie. After opening, simply scroll down. Now click on Rufus 3.14 to download it. After downloading, follow the next steps. Now the our third step is, download the FIDE OS image file. To download FIDE OS image file, simply open your web browser and search for the FIDE OS in Google. As you can see here, the official website of FIDE OS is in Chinese language, so we have to translate it into the understandable language. To translate it, simply click on translate this page. We have to wait for a while, because the translation process can take some time. Now the web page is successfully loaded. Now click on menu icon, on the top right corner. Now click on download. Again wait for a while, because the page is translating. Now the page is loaded. As you can see here, from here you can download the image file for the PC, as well as for virtual machines also. Here we are downloading FIDE OS image file for the PC. To download the any image file, simply click on download. Sometimes, you will see error like this. So you have to click on, go to original page. As you can see here, we are now able to download the FIDE OS image file. Now save FIDE OS image file. As you can see here, the file is around 1.9 GB in size, so it will take some time to be downloaded. After downloading, follow the next steps. Now the our fourth step is, write the image file to USB drive. 
So for easy purpose, I create this folder on the desktop and copy the files, which we downloaded in earlier steps. Now plug the USB drive and open the Rufus by double clicking on it. After opening Rufus, you have to select the USB drive, so I recommend you to first verify it. As you can see here, my USB drive is FIDOS USB. So make sure both devices are same. Now, in boot selection menu, select disk or ISO image. Now click on select, and navigate to the location, where you downloaded or placed the image file of FIDOS. Now click on the FIDOS image file. Now click on open. Now click on start. Now an warning message has appeared, which is saying all the data on the selected drive will be formatted. Simply click on OK. Now the image writing process has been started. It will take some time to be completed, so you could be patient. I am fast forwarding these steps to save your time. Now the image is successfully copied to USB drive, now close the Rufus and follow the next steps. Now restart the Windows and follow the next steps. Now the Windows is restarting. When the system is rebooting, press escape key continuously. Now we are entered into the startup menu, now press F10 key to configure BIOS. Now find and navigate to the System Configuration tab. Now find and select Boot Options and press Enter key. Now find and select Legacy Support and press Enter key. Now select Enabled and press Enter key. Now, select Yes and press Enter key. Now press F10 key to save changes. Now select Yes and press Enter key. Now the R system is restarting, remember to press Escape key continuously, when the system is rebooting. In some cases, BIOS has displayed this message to save changes, so you have to press the combination keys, which are shown on the system screen. As you can see here, in my case the keys are, 5597 plus enter key, in your case it may be different. After entering the combination keys, the system will reboot in startup menu. Now press F9 key to select boot device options. Now select the USB drive, which has UEFI label, and press enter key. Now the system is booted into the FIDOS USB drive. Now select FIDOS image A from the menu, and press enter key. Now wait for few minutes, the installer is loading, so please be patient. It will take some time. As you can see here, FIDOS loading. Now here you'll have to select your desired language and keyboard layout for the installer. After selecting language and keyboard layout, simply click on OK. Now the FIDOS welcome screen has appeared on the screen. Now click on the installer. This is most important step. So please follow this step carefully to avoid data loss. Here you'll have to select multi-boot installation to avoid data loss. After selecting the above option, simply click on next. Now here, we have to select the target partition where the FIDE OS will be installed. So select the partition, which we created in earlier steps from the Windows 10. As you can see here, our 30 GB partition is now available here, which we created from the Windows 10. So select the partition by clicking on it. After selecting the target partition, we have to select the EFI partition. The FIDE OS select the EFI partition automatically if available, so leave as it is, don't do any changes. Now the most important step is, install Refine Boot Manager. To install the Refine Boot Manager, simply turn this toggle on. 
After doing the above changes, simply click on Install. Now the installation process has been started, so it will take some time, so please be patient, I am fast forwarding these steps, to save the time. Now the installation is completed, now remove the installation media, and click on shutdown. Now the system is shutting down, after shutting down, we will turn it on again, and check FIDE OS is installed or not. After turning on, as you can see the Refine Boot Manager has appeared, on the system screen. Let me tell you, how you can boot into FIDE OS or Windows OS, from the Refine Boot Manager. To boot into any OS, use the navigation key to select an OS. Select the first entry, if you want to boot into Windows 10. Select the second boot entry, if you want to boot into FIDE OS. So let's set up the FIDE OS. To set up it, select the FIDE OS, and press Enter key. Now the system is booted into the GNU Grub menu, wait for a few minutes, it will take some time. Now the system is booting in FIDE OS, so please be patient. Now choose Keyboard Layout and Default Language. After selecting Keyboard Layout and Language, simply click on OK. Now click on Let's Go. Network connection is necessary for the setting up, FIDE OS, so connect to the hotspot via Wi-Fi. Now accept the license agreement of FIDE OS. To do that, Simply scroll down until the agreement has been finished. Now click on, Agree and Continue. Now wait for a while. Now here you will have to sign into the FIDE OS, or sign up by creating account. Do that, click on Create Account. Now select your desired country or region from here. After selecting country, enter your mobile number. Make sure, your entered mobile number is of Telegram account, because this OTP will be sent to your Telegram account. After entering the mobile number, simply click on Next. Once you clicked on Next, the QR code will be appeared on your system screen. I recommend you, to scan this QR code via any third-party app, because this QR code not scanning from the Telegram. After scanning the QR code, the Telegram app will be opened automatically, and you'll see interface like this on your smartphone screen. Now. You have to tap on send verification code. Once you tap on it, and pop confirmation will be appeared, which is asking to share your mobile number. Simply click on share contact, to receive the OTP. Once you tap on share contact, in few seconds the OTP will be received in your Telegram account. Now, here enter the OTP which is received in Telegram app, from the previous steps. After entering the OTP, simply click on next. Now here you'll have to set up the email address, nickname, and password. After filling all the details, simply click on Create Account. Once you clicked on Create Account, you've redirected to Login Screen. Now log in using registered mobile number, and enter the password, which we set up in previous steps. Once you entered the password, simply click on Next. Now select your desired credential, which you want to use for FIDE OS, it's depend on your choice. In my case, I am using FIDE OS account, you can select what you want. After selecting, simply click on Next. Now wait for a while, it will take some time. Now we are all set to use FIDE OS. Simply click on Get Started. 
Congrats! You've successfully installed Fido OS. So friends, if this guide has becomes helpful for you, then like and share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel.